Students, have you ever watched a movie based on detectives? Do you think it is a fun job that detectives do? What do you think of the character traits that a detective should possess? Well, in the following story, a young writer gets to meet a detective very different from his expectations. Let's find out how the mystery unfolds. Fowler was researching for his book on detectives. He was expecting to meet a detective right out of some movies. But he felt disappointed after seeing the man in front of him. Unlike his expectations, Orsibel the detective was short and very fat. Fowler was spending a dull evening with Orsibel in some French music hall. Well, little did he know that his boring evening was about to turn into an adventurous one. Let's find out how. Orsibel opened the door of his room. It was on the sixth floor. As Orsibel switched on the lights, he saw a man with a pistol standing right across the room. Now, since Fowler had never experienced such a thing in his entire life, he froze where he was standing. Orsibel, on the other hand, had his cool maintained. He recognized the man and started calling him by his name as if they were both colleagues. He said, Max, you gave me quite a start. I thought you were in Berlin. What are you doing here in my room? Max replied, The report that is being brought to you tonight concerning some new missiles. I thought I will take it from you. It will be safer in my hands than in yours. Had you been in the place of Fowler, what would you have done? Would you be scared for your life or feel thrilled? Let's see what happens next. Orsibel sat down and stared at the only window in the room and stated, I'm going to raise the devil with the management this time. This is the second time in a month that somebody has got into my room through that nuisance of a balcony. Max denied using the window to enter into the room and remarked, that had he known about the window, it would have saved him all the trouble of using the passkey. Now, what do you think a passkey is? Well, it is a master key that can open the door to a restricted area. So, when Max already had a key to open the door, why did he say that the window was a better way to enter the room? It is because a master key is very difficult to acquire. It is given only to certain officials. While Max and Orsible were talking, someone was continuously knocking at the door. Orsible said that it was the police who had come to check if everything was all right. This made Max nervous. He pointed his gun towards both of them and said that he would be waiting in the balcony and Orsible should send away the police, otherwise he would shoot them. As the doorknob turned in, Max jumped out of the window and they heard a loud scream. It was a waiter who entered the room. He had brought the wine that Orsible had ordered earlier. Fowler was surprised after seeing all that. He asked Orsible about the police. To this, Orsible replied that there were no police officers. And then Fowler asked about Max, who was waiting in the balcony outside the window. Then Orsible replied, that the person would not return as there was no balcony at all. Now can you guess what had happened to Max after he jumped off from the sixth floor? Yes, he must have died. Let's see what qualities Orsible, the secret detective, teaches us. Well, we learn that a good detective always relies on his presence of mind. We see that any common man, just like Fowler, would have lost his calm and would be frightened in a life-threatening situation. But Orsible not only saved himself and Fowler, but also protected confidential information. Don't you think Orsible was a true genius? Yes, it is an uncommon trait, but certainly a desirable one. Robert Green rightly says, True genius in strategy or anywhere lies in self-control, self-mastery, Presence of mind, fluidity of thought. Orsible had all these qualities 
and we too must try to work on achieving these qualities.